I'm Jacqueline Rogers, Dean of Health Sciences and Public Safety, and I oversee the Center of Excellence in Medical Simulation at Palm Beach State College. From its beginning in 1999 as somewhat of a novelty, it's come full circle in that it's totally integrated into our healthcare and EMS program. So when you're doing your assessment, those are the questions. We have a variety of simulators. Some of the high fidelity simulators actually respond to actions that students take with them. They are able to breathe, blink, have a heart rate, and speak to them. You know, I have a little headache. In too. the beginning, students are a little taken aback, but we find that they quickly adapt to the environment and jump into the role as healthcare professionals. So when you first go into simulation, it's definitely nerve-wracking because you're in a room and you know that there are people watching you and critiquing you, but at the end of the day, you're not hurting anyone and your instructor will be able to come and tell you afterwards what you did wrong, how you can correct it, and how you can move forward. Before having the Sim Man, all we did was hear about it or read about it. So having him actually here, it did feel like a more authentic experience. The center here has been absolutely excellent as far as providing top-notch facilities. Um, and allowing our residents to have the time to have this exposure. And it allows us as faculty to really be able to assess these future physicians are able to communicate with patients and elicit important things from their patients. So at Palm Beach State, we have a real commitment to ensuring that we use innovation and technology to prepare our students. This center is an example of that and that we ensure that our students, when, when the first day they walk into a hospital or into a medical office, they've experienced different scenarios so they're able to adapt to the situations. We use technology with um, existing um, practices. It creates that competitive edge that we're committed to give our students. What's new in the center is telemedicine simulation where students will be able to see how a physician can interact from yeah, a remote you, location Sam? I'm Dr. R2. And interview a patient, speak with nurses and other healthcare providers taking care of the patient. We plan to use this technology with our students to help them understand how telemedicine is used in healthcare. That's very reassuring to hear crying like that. We're more than an authentic clinical setting. We're a place where students can use their critical thinking skills to care for patients in an environment that feels real and will give them the background and the competency and the confidence to care for patients.